begotten Son, was that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. So wait a minute, it says that whosoever that believeth in him should not perish. Now wait a minute. That means anybody, right? The Bible said that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. They were going to receive everlasting life. That means everybody, anybody, come on in. No. Just because these other nations stole this word, stole this gospel, does not mean that they're included now. That whosoever was speaking of any of you Israelites that decide that you want to change your life and return to the Most High with all your heart and all your soul and believe on His Son, you can receive everlasting life. Let's prove that. Get um, Acts chapter 2. We're going to read the same thing out of the Bible. In order to understand the Bible, you got to read the Bible, right? Well, let's see what the Bible says. Acts chapter 2. Start at verse... 22, 21. Acts chapter 2, verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. There we go. There's the same thing again. That whosoever calls on the Lord, he's going to be saved. Right? That means anybody, right? Read on. You men of Israel, hear these words. Read that again. You men of Israel, hear these words. The Bible says, ye men of Israel, hear these words. He just said that whosoever call upon the name of the Lord is going to be saved. This same scripture was taken out of Joel, the second chapter. Get that. Joel's chapter 2. Paul, I mean, I'm sorry, Luke is quoting the same thing that's being written in the, the, the prophet Joel. Joel. Hold this. Joel chapter 2, we're going to start at verse 27. Let's see if the Bible gets more clear who the Most High is here for. Let's see if the Bible is going to tell us exactly who the Most High came for and who he's, who he's going to give uh, forgiveness of sins to. Joel. Chapter 2, verse 27. Joel, Joel, chapter 2, verse 27. And you shall not know that I am in the midst of Israel. Read that again. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. The Bible says that ye shall know that I, this is the most high speaking, that I am in the midst of Israel. Read on. And that I am the Lord your God and none else. It says that ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. And I am the Lord, your God, and none else. God said he wasn't the God of anybody else but the Israelites. Read on. I am your Lord, your God, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. He says that my people shall never be ashamed. Jump on down. Give me verse 32. And it shall come to pass that whosoever to call on the name the Lord shall be delivered. And does that make sense? Think about it. This book was only read by the Israelites. So when it says whosoever, they already know who it's talking about. It was without a shadow of a doubt who the whosoever was. The Most High said he is the God of Israel and none else. And he says his people was never going to be ashamed. Give me Amos the third chapter. He said his, his people were never going to be ashamed. Because the Most High is behind us. Now wait a minute. I thought for God so loved the world. We just read the same scripture in Isaiah 45 verse 17 and explained to you the world was Israel. Verbatim. So there should be no confusion. Understanding that the ones that had the law were the Israelites. Understanding that in order to get salvation, you have to go through Christ. Christ came and died for our sins. Who had sinned? The Israelites. Amos chapter 3. Start at verse 1. Amos chapter 3, verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought you up from the land of Egypt, saying... So he says, listen to the word I've spoken against you, children of Israel, against the whole family that he brought up from the land of Egypt. Who did he bring out of Egypt? The Israelites. He says he has something against you. Let's see what it is. Read. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. 
He said, you only Israel, the Israelites, you so-called Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, Haitians, North American Indians, Cubans, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Out of everybody in the world, the most high only knew and cared about the Israelites. Read on. You only have I known all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. So he said, therefore, I'm going to punish you for all your iniquities, all your sins. The most I said, because you didn't want to listen, like we read in Deuteronomy the 28th chapter, since you didn't want to listen to my commandments, you didn't want to do what I said, I'm going to punish you, I'm going to curse you. There you have what we have today. Get back to St. John 3.16. This should be crystal clear for you now. The Most High doesn't care about the other nations. He told the other nations that if you, if the Israelites, he told them if they find some on the ground, give it to those other nations. You can sell it to those people. But you can't eat it. You're a holy people to me. So we mean for God so loved the world. St. John 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son for God loved, so loved the world, which we read was Israel, that he gave his only begotten son. For who? The Israelites. Read on. That whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So whoever, whichever one of you Israelites today that want to believe in Christ and keep the commandments, you can receive this same salvation if you endure it to the end. 